Okay, welcome back everyone. This is part 4 out of 5 short tutorial videos on how to get started with Perceptor Labs. By now, we have installed and ran Perceptor Labs. We went over the UI and also the modeling process by building a transfer learning model from scratch. Let's get to the fun part and see how that model is performing during training, testing and validation. Okay, so we built the model, we set the training settings and we're ready to click this run model button. So let's do it. As soon as you start training the model, it'll start executing the model in the background. And then as soon as it start actually running, we'll see some visualization popping up here in the statistics view. At the very top, we can see some different overviews. We can see the input. We can see what happens in the target and with the training. Uh, and here you can see things such as the loss, the accuracy. You can see how it's predicting against the labels and how it's predicting throughout the entire epoch. We can also see the global loss for the entire model. In the bottom left, we have a map. And clicking around this map, will change this view box over to the right. And this is so that you can peek into each and every component during training and get live updates on how the training actually is going for the different components. You can see things such as the output we are looking at, its weights and biases, its gradients, where the gradients tell you how much that component is being updated. If we go back and look at target, we can see how the training already is over 80% thanks to your backbone for using the VGG16. As soon as training is done, you'll get a little pop-up which tells you how the results went. Um, and we can see here how the accuracy is above 80, both for training and validation which is great. We can then go to a test to run a test on the model. And what you can do here is choose one or many models. If you choose multiple models, you can compare them against each other. And you can then get to choose which type of test you want to run on the model. For now, let's choose both. And if you just run tests, it's going to start generating a test for that model. And you can see how far it's been progressing. Then we will visualize it. And what we're seeing here is a confusion matrix. And what the confusion matrix tells you is uh, four class zero, eight of them was classified as zero, and three of them were classified as ones. For class one, we have zero classified as zero, which is great, and 15 classified as one. And over to the right, you can see some, some more general metrics such as the categorical accuracy, the precision, the recall, the top K categorical accuracy. Anything you need to see if your model is performing well after it's been trained. So to summarize, you'll have the statistics view uh, during training, where you can see how the model is performing live as it's training. And then after training, you can go and test the model to see once again how it's performing once it's finished training. And all of this testing is happening on the testing data. Great, we now built, trained and tested the model. The next step is to export it to production or share it with your friends and teammates. We'll go over how to do that in our last tutorial in this series, Getting Started with Perceptor Labs. Don't forget to visit our forum at forum.perceptlabs.com or reach out to me directly at our Slack channel if you have any issues, suggestions, or just want to get in touch. Feedback is always welcome.